All right, what is up, you beautiful people, and welcome back to the Triple Aura Brawl. We are playing some Dahaka today. We're joined here by Chloras as well as Sprinkles. Uh, let's get started here, boys. Triple Aura, fairly self-explanatory. Three auras, pick a buff, times three. We're playing some Avathers, so we're probably going to run some Swarm Host. Uh, I don't know. We'll run some Swarm Host. We'll see here. Uh, let's, get, let's, let's, let's get that heal. Let's get that shout. I'm gonna roll over with these roaches here. Oh my god, big leg. Hey, that's cooldown reduction. Mm. Oh my god, it's Zagara. The counter to Swarm Host. Kind of, probably. Uh, maybe some life actually wouldn't be too bad. Get some extra life there. And then if I do want Swarm Host, I probably maybe want them to run a bit faster. A bit of force here. Oh baby, let's get up here. And I mean, at the end of the day, I probably do want some Ravagers as well. So life is gonna help us out here a little bit here. Zagara is healing very fast, actually. We got Kerrigan with the Kinetic Blast here. Uh, I think it's Kinetic Blast that's going to be used here. But yeah, Kerrigan pretty pretty strong as well. Um, there's no good way to spread out these roaches, is there? I don't know, maybe like this? Like that? I don't know. Bam. 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 There we go. I don't really want to buy too many queens. I don't know. Just save my money. Save my money for my host here. Uh, I don't know if I want to have any more roaches than I have currently. Because Shredding Claws does, like, I think it does destroy Adaptive Plating. I'm not, I don't actually remember. It may or may not. Oh, there it is. Let's get the Hydriotic Bile at the very least. Uh, and then those Lings are attacking us here. Oh, he doesn't have Shredding Claws. At least my armor is still there, but definitely adaptive plating would have helped helped us hold that line there. Ah, but screw holding the line, boys. We are here to s we are here to become the line. Let's get those swarm hosts down here, boys. I only have one. I only have twenty five percent cooldown reduction, but sometimes maybe that's a that's for the better balance of the game. But who, who likes balance anyways, boys? I, I like I like imbalance, uh, pr preferably me having the imbalance units here. Um, so that it is absolutely no fun and oppressive <laughs> for the other player. Uh, Ravagers being so expensive, RIP. Feels bad, man. Get those guys out here, boys. 25% is still better than nothing. I hit that 75%, that actually be insane. Adaptive plating here. Oh, actually Force makes the Locust get into the battlefield faster. I actually like that. Uh, it's very important to have those guys get on the battlefield faster. Get some more healing. Locust entering the fight quite rapidly here. Uh, yeah, against the Gara, I think. At least the Locust will respawn by the time the, the first set of Locusts die. So that means it's, at, it's at only an 8 second cooldown here. Uh, which on paper, I think it should be a little longer than that. On paper, it's 11 seconds. So we reduce it by 3 seconds. So that's actually pretty good. I mean, the first, the first cooldown reduction is the best. And then the other ones, they stack a... Uh, Multiplicatively, not additively. If they stack additively, then you'd get 100%, which means you would just have a stream of locusts coming up, like forever and ever and ever, uh, which would be very, uh, which would be very broken and nearly impossible to play against. Um, but thankfully, or not thankfully, it's not that. I don't know. Thankfully, it's not that. I'll be honest, because then it'll be, it'll be pretty, it'll be pretty boring. It's like, because then you'll be like, who has flame boys? Who had? Who doesn't have flame boys? If you have flame boys, you will win. If you don't, you just get run over. Kind of, kind of vibe here. So let's go. Uh, Roach is here, getting on them. This guy's a lot of zerglings. Oh, that's because they have a a ton of HP, 105 HP. Oh my god. Uh, they don't have shredding claws though, so I don't think having that extra life is gonna beat me, who's gonna generate large amounts of extra life. Um, so I'll take that. I'm gonna get a gas here because we are just sort of winning the middle anyways so let's take advantage of that and just keep on winning keep on winning i'll be honest i've been looking forward to this week i was like when is the next aura brawl please not on a weekend where i'm super busy and i guess it's not a weekend where i'm super busy in the sense that um i uh because with the teacher strike i technically have monday off technically i just gotta post some work for the kids to do and i'm just like mmm mmm you know, I don't know. I'm just really burnt out as well. Just working. I think I calculated, and I think I work like 70-ish hours a week. On paper. On paper. Or it might be closer to like 80. I don't know. 70 to 80 hours. Um, 
but you know that doesn't count like driving to get to places and, and different things. I think uh, it used to be even more than the than the old 70. I think definitely from January to June. You guys know, you guys know who've been around since then. Um, that I've been working some insane hours at that time. I've actually toned it back a little bit here because I'm trying to get some social life. I'm trying to maybe meet some cuties at uh, the places where I go exercise and stuff, so that you know I can get that I can get that part of my life going. Uh, you know, um, but yeah, it's like everything all at once. You just got to make sure you. you sh it's like a, I don't know. Right now, I feel like I'm being pulled in multiple directions, but also it's like if I don't pull myself in multiple directions, um, I'm just going to end up sacrificing one aspect of my life or another. And I don't want to do that, so right now, the sacrifice is sleep. <laughs> it's sleep. I've actually gotten pretty good at power napping, I'll be honest. Uh, let's get those tunneling claws so my roaches can heal. I'm going to shop the men here. So extra HP on those lings really doesn't do anything, because they can't kill my roaches. My roaches literally just haven't died. Uh, Zagara really needs to, like, get some aberrations up in here. If Zagara doesn't have any abs, she can't breach this formation. And I think I actually need to rush for some Brutalisk. Oh, I don't want to build any Brutalisk, but I think that's what I'll need. Why are they still 650? Brutalisk would still be horrendous if they were like 250. I don't know. But just a giant punch. Actually, maybe 250 they'd be pretty good because the amount of HP you get for how much you pay for them. But like, they're just like a giant punching bag, really. <laughs> that's what really Brutalisk are. I mean, it's like they do have like a baby cleave. Kind of, but like, yeah, that's like, that's it. Their attack speed's not exactly the greatest. Uh, Hunter Killer's coming in. Those are things I should be scared of. But the rates are just going to start, ob well, they have been obliterating things. He's got two range, actually. And I don't know what else. Maybe some cooldown reduction? I, I can't really tell. I'm going to drop my last men here, because I'm going to get another mend anyways. So it doesn't matter. Oh, man. I love... Op mega oppressive swarm host here. The extra the extra range and, and hacks and move speed, very very helpful. Extra life is also really good on the locust because that prevents them from just falling over and dying to AOE as easily, uh, which is also very very important. Um, Hydra is here with the LMG mode. Um, just gonna melt through things. That looks like it's gonna be the cannon for us. I really don't want to draw this game out too long though. We have to win this game in the mid game, I think. So I'm gonna actually toss out some Ravagers. Insane. It's insane that Ravagers used to be like, I think like they used to be 160 or something almost, 165, and now they're almost the same price as a Swarm Host. Oh my God! One of the guys left. We're gonna be facing off against Omega Zagara. Uh, or, or we just win it here. Huh? Or is this Copium? Do we just win it here? Copium or win it? Copium or win it? Let's get that armor, boys. I don't know why this Tehaka has so many Hydralisks. I guess he has to, uh, out of necessity to deal with the rates. Because you don't really have a good solution to all of these rates. Um, oh man, Ravagers are so squishy, though. That next... Uh-oh. 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 Oh no. It's Copium hours. We're gonna get over. Okay, let's let's let's. I'm gonna I'm gonna ravager it up here. I think we need to ravager to push through. Otherwise, we are going to die. We are going to die if that's what happens. Uh, unless he has unless he has explosive uh, sacks like the aerial burst sacks, then I think I can just mutilisk and laugh at him. Uh, does he have aerial burst sack? He does not have aerial burst sack. But the rates are just cleaning him up. Like look at that. Uh, but he's spawning every other wave, and that's very, very dangerous. Zagar with no Scourge, though. Uh, I think Zagar is just laser-focused on dealing with me. Uh, there we go. Boom. Drop a men here. Uh, I definitely need some more front line here, I think. Uh, come on, Ravagers. Come on, Ravagers. You got this. Uh, should probably I should probably put down some more... Um, some more front line. I don't know. I guess I'll have to build an aberration. I really don't want to, but maybe. Not aberration, a brutalisk. Um, oh god. Oh god. Come on, just melt, 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 melt them. There we go. Don't let them stack. Don't let them stack at the very least. Zagara can unstack and then the Haka stacks. That's like. 
That is a very dangerous combo here. I'm kind of getting unstacked here a little bit too. Uh, oh, wait, this might be it. Yeah, that's it, boys. That's it, boys, we pulled through. So I think I think this week, you definitely don't want to go full Stormhost. I think with Abathur, you never want to go full Stormhost. But the opening with the Stormhost is definitely not a bad one. Uh, but I think you want to seal the deal with Ravagers, because Ravagers with that cooldown and their area effect is very, very important. I tanked about as much as I dealt, actually. And I actually dealt the most in the game. Didn't get that many last hits, but that's not what we're here for, boys. All right, boys, if you guys enjoyed this game, be sure to leave a like. I'm going to probably do a video for every single commander. So there's going to be like 17 videos coming out. This is going to be up the old schedule. Back in the day when I was first doing, uh, first starting off, you guys knew that schedule. 17 videos a week. That was crazy. We'll do it for just for this one because of the triple aura. Until next time, I will see you guys later. <laughs> the tires let's light some fires Need a light. they picked the wrong fights